Hello everybody, welcome back to Wolfie Extras. Today we have a bunch of news to talk about regarding MCC with stuff like QSMP members, eyes emoji, uh, people leaving the Nox crew, uh, new information on merchandise, perhaps, MCC Island. There's a bunch of stuff. I just wanted to group it all together because for some reason, whenever an MCC is actually happening, uh, there's a bunch to talk about randomly i wonder why maybe it's because there's an mcc happening but first you might be wondering why are you looking at reefy stats i wanted to show this i've been made aware of this i think it was on either reddit or my comment section if you look at this event and you look at sg yeah <laughs> the cyan team would have been very dominant i know a lot of people wanted sg because of pink team oh pink team would have had a chance guys pink team would have benefited a lot from uh from sg Cyan would have just won the event if SG was in, so I don't blame them for not putting survival games in. I think I actually said on stream that I would have liked survival games in, but literally, obviously this is a one-time sample size. I think Shadun and Olive only played SG once and they dominated it, uh, which was on the Spanish team. Either way, freaking insane. Top three in the, in the game statistically. Uh, that's terrifying. <laughs> so, yeah, glad that SG's not in because Cyan would have literally swept the floor with everyone. And it wouldn't have been close at all, because uh, this team is arguably arguably better than the Spanish team when it comes to survival games. Uh, so yeah, and the <laughs> pink team would have been down here. Now this has no stats. They would have probably done a little bit better, maybe worse. I mean, SG is kind of random, but yeah, just wanted to bring that up. Anyways, moving on with the actual juicy information. U2's XMCC seems to be happening. You might be confused, why is there a question mark? Well, if you play really, pay really close attention, I don't know if this will be very easy to see on YouTube. There's a very faint, like, outline on the background. There's, like, a gray thing, and Michael already pointed it out. That's the mascots. <laughs> like, that looks like, at least, let's see, uh, three, and then there's two in, in the back. That's at least eight. And then there's what, so one, two, one, two, three, it's going to be all of them, but one, two, three, four, five, I, that's probably either, that's probably just all ten. Purple pandas seems to be in the uh, the left back, uh, yellow yaks, front right, blue bats uh, in front of the the pandas, I don't know, either way, uh, U2s, I can't wait for people to complain about this for some reason. I don't actually know what the, the U2s drama in the past was, but I know some people were not happy with this company, and uh yeah, I'm curious to see how it'll turn out. I'm very excited to see uh, MCCX U2s. I've never bought a U2s. I probably never will. Unless they make the Purple Panda or the Red Rabbit or whatever very adorable, then maybe I will. Uh, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, anyways, moving on. Uh, this was also a post I saw. You might also find a few sticky things hidden in this image. These are probably the U2s. Um, you would expect them to throw one in every image but i guess maybe that wouldn't make sense but maybe they did did they let's see so there's a red here yellow here orange here there could be an aqua one here there could be i guess be lime in here maybe somewhere or like a blue or whatever like down i, I don't you can't keep, see my cursor but um aqua could be in parkour tag there's probably something in sky battle that we don't notice maybe like a green gecko i don't freaking know uh, anyways yeah, some hidden stuff. I don't know if they'll reveal this. They'll probably mention this in the update video if I had to guess, but I'm not sure. Next up, Eloise uh, quote tweeting a Nox crew, hey, you want to be a marketing manager uh, tweet uh, saying that uh, L is leaving the Nox crew. Uh, she'll post a sample fi sappy final day tweet when I uh, go, I'm sure. If I do it now, I'll cry and have MCC games to announce. So I assume after MCC 34, Eloise will be departing from the Nox crew. What does this mean? Um, I think Eloise is probably going to be a player sometime soon. I'd be surprised if she isn't. Scott, obviously, and Eloise are very good friends. Becky's been there as of recent. Owen's been there as of much more recent. Eloise probably soon to join, and I don't think anyone is mad about that because Eloise is great. Uh, I think Eloise would be a super fun addition to the roster. Very curious to see when that would happen. I'd be surprised if it never happens. Not sure if it would happen like this year or next year. I assume I, I assume it would be next year, but maybe this year. Who knows? Anyways, um, that's yeah. Eloise is leaving the Nox crew. 
We'll see who uh, takes her spot um, as the marketing manager. Um, I guess I could qualify for that, but do I really want to, uh, you know, sacrifice a potential spot in the event for uh, working for the Noxru? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Anyways, uh, Toby mentioned uh, talking to, or uh, Toby, not mentioned, Toby was talking to Etoile, who is a French creator on the QSMP, um, saying that he should join. Let me let me play this real quick. I don't know if, actually, I can probably play music. Um, here we go. Etoile, you should so play an MCC. Come on, join yeah, MCC, please. Cool. That would be so but sick. Do, can we team an MCC, do, pretty please? But do, do you think it's like uh, go to McDonald's? <laughs> like I go to McDonald's and I'm like, okay, I'm in McDonald's now. <laughs> like MCC. Wait, yeah, 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 it's just <laughs> like Maccas. It's just like, <laughs> listen, listen, a toi, a toi. Please, can we team for MCC? Please, I, please, I, can I, we? I'm not I'm not this good. Because no, you, no, no, you, no, please, 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 please. <laughs> you, are, you are watching me playing against NPCs. Like it's a code who are like chilling. No, 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 but, but, no, no, but, but you got the spirit. You got the spirit. I, I got the spirit? Okay. No, you should play an okay, MCC. Okay. You should play an MCC. Not Mackie D's MCC. <laughs> Aim high. Yeah, we can, feel we can just, feel we can what, what I team. Yeah, yeah, I'll team, yeah. Can yeah. I team too, guys? Uh, I'm not so we can try. <laughs> hey, I get it. I washed. Every team needs a nerf, though. Every team needs a nerf. I'll just be the nerf. <laughs> All right, so that's that's the clip. I just wanted to show the entire clip. It's a minute long, but yeah. Um, Toby says Etoile should join MCC, and Phil also seems to be down to be involved with that. Is that balanced? No. Well, actually, well, ac well, actually, current MCC maybe. Honestly. It's like, I mean, uh, can we pull up? Oh, can, I can pull up an MCC tweet. Uh, reckon. All right. Phil, Toby, Etoile, and like another person. Uh, Quackity himself, perhaps. I, I, I don't know if Quackity would join. I'll talk on that in a little bit as well. There's some teams in here that would be pretty much the same skill level as like Phil, Toby, and Etoile. Like, yeah, <laughs> this team. This team is like the same as Phil Toby at Wild, pretty much. Uh, th these three are like freaking whatever, right? Uh, like, uh, pun well, I think puns, puns, Joel and Jordan is a little bit of a better comparison, maybe. Uh, they might, they might be slightly stronger, but I think it's probably possible. I mean, you know, whatever. I think it would be super cool to see at Wild join. I think it would just be cool to see a French team join, but I think it's not as easy because, as you might have noticed. Um, the people from the Spanish team are now regular participants um, in just common, you know, regular MCC players. Like, uh, Ollie and Shadun, well, Shadun wasn't added for that, but Shadun, or Ollie and Gato have been in MCC now, like, three times, I think. And um, they're just recurring players. Like, they, they fit into the English group, whatever. And Etoile... As much as I think it'd be cool to see him join for the French side of the community, like representing um, this French-speaking, uh, you know, community, um, he is good at the game. Uh, he did say, like, I'm not as good as here, which is probably true. However, um, Etoile would still be pretty good. I know people compared him to Shadoon. I don't know if that's a fair comparison. Um, my perspective might be a little bit warped. I don't recall if I've ever played against the Twal in like uh, Twitch Rivals or something, but I have played with Shadoon, and I know Shadoon's cracked, at least at 1.8. Um, so maybe a Twal would be on the same level, maybe not. Either way, QSMP and MCC is a very interesting topic. I think a lot of the newer people, maybe from other communities, would be good additions. I think a lot of the English people, uh, the English speaking community who are on QSMP, might not be as interested. Um, I could name pretty much every single member. Most of them do not have, or half of them have played in MCC before, and the majority of them don't seem that interested in playing anymore. I think the only ones are Toby and Phil, and I might be missing someone from the QSMP who is in the event but doesn't play. But like Tina doesn't really play, Quackity doesn't really play, Nikki doesn't play, Foolish doesn't play. Um. Jaden's not in, but Jaden could be in, I guess. 
uh, if she wanted to for like a non-canon like a pride or like a rookie or not rookies underdogs <laughs> um fit mc would be an interesting addition i don't know if fit is interested in the event but that's another english speaking creator wilbur doesn't play anymore um i feel like i'm missing someone i, I apologize if i am but however um there's obviously a lot of spanish creators French creators, Portuguese, I think, is also uh, a side of the community that's on QCP. I don't recall if there's another language on there, but yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people to pick from, and um, it's just a matter of, are they interested? I think it would fit better if it was like a collaborative event, like um, how Jingle Jam was a thing. I think a QSMP X MCC event would be actually really interesting. Um, I just don't know how feasible that is. Um, I think that's something that Scott and Quackity would have to discuss, which I, I don't know if that would be on their agenda as of now. I think they're both both parties have uh, enough, uh, you know, work on their plate uh, to take care of. Um, so a QSMP uh, event might not be as necessary. This is not what I wanted to look at. MCCI is the next thing. We're almost done with today's little bit of news. MCCI, as of right now, as of me recording, is uh, currently down. They said uh, MC Land will be down from 3.30 p.m. BST, which is 4.30 for me. Uh, today, uh, for around, uh, yeah, for out an hour, um, it's now over an hour later. I can almost guarantee you it's not back yet because this is typical. This happens all the time. If someone says, if like a development team says, it'll take an hour, it'll probably take two and a half. That's just how it works because there's always something that just magically wants to go wrong, especially when you're working with a server on a relatively uh, large scale. So yeah, but uh, season two of MCCI will come, which means that the aquatic theming, I think the summer theming or aquatic whatever, that theming from the last battle pass, etc., will shift over to what I think is a space theme, which I'm down for. I love space. Space is actually really uh, interesting as just like an IRL like, you know, topic. I actually think space is super cool. Um, I haven't, you know, I, I'm not like studying anything about it because it's uh, very complicated. Uh, I uh, Physics was not one of my strengths, but it was very cool. Uh, but yeah, that's that's coming with season two. There's a lot of other changes um, like the private lobbies, which uh, we'll see how those work. Um, they made an explanation video, but you know, we'll, we'll actually try to experiment with it. Um, I might try them out, probably will, not sure yet, um, but yeah. Looking good so far. And then the final thing, bingo, this event. I think this was already confirmed beforehand for Rising, but it's been brought up again. Bingo has a small scoring change, I think. But I don't know what the numbers were before, but I know it was Lockout Bingo before, and now it's no longer Lockout Bingo because it's been Bingo but fast for a while. It's just Bingo. Um, so... Any placement gets points for their performance. You just get way more for doing things first, etc. Um, I assume this has been tested, so these numbers, um, you know, come from testing. Uh, they're not just pulled out of someone's behind and, and that's it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm very curious to see how this will play out. Um, I'm actually very curious to see how this um, roster of games will, will play out either way because I know that um, the players have been asking for bingo to return for a while um i've been told at least that the players have been w wanting to see not everyone obviously well um, the majority i've heard wanted the bingo to return so hopefully it is what they expected it to be and hopefully it will return more often but we'll see anyways that's the news little recap um u2s or actually i'll do it from the start uh cyan would have de destroyed mc34 if sg was in um, U2's, uh, U2's hidden in images, Eloise leaving Nox crew, QSMP potentially, or QSMP suggested at least for MCC, let's see if it'll actually happen, um, this is just balancing, uh, MCC Island update coming soon, and bingo scoring. Alright, that's it for the news today, um, I'll see you all back tomorrow for the update video, Saturday for the watch party, I'll also be live tomorrow and Saturday, I have a Tubnet event as well on Friday. And then Sunday, I'll be live, at least doing a predictions review. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.